and uh, we can lengthen it if we need to. Let's go to a thousand milliseconds or one second and let's run this back now. Let's go ahead and click start logging and let's go ahead and do the same thing again. I'm just gonna go and we're gonna see the difference here. If I touch it, we can see that it occurs. Touch it again, we can see that it occurs. And let's go ahead and stop it and let's take a look at this right now. Um, now if we trace back the log here, we can see that immediately, we're running back through here, the orange line represents our spark timing. So our spark timing in the table is going to be five degrees or the associated va values of all the modifiers are gonna be five degrees. And then when we're gonna clutch it, it's gonna go from an orange here from five, it's gonna immediately go to negative 15. We can see that our, our uh, shift cut spark is zero, our spark probability is 100, so everything is functioning correctly on our spark timing. We're gonna see that it immediately goes 0% probability, so it's gonna cut spark, shift cut sparks on, and then we're also going to notice here, I think another thing we have to pay attention to, the total length of this time. So the total length of this cut occurring, you can see this kind of gap here between these. This is going to be equivalent to this millisecond of a thousand milliseconds. This is going to be their total cut time here. So if we're trying to evaluate a data log and we're looking at a shift cut, um, we need to figure out if uh, the from feel, if it feels like it might be cutting too long, again, we can decrease this value or if it feels like it you clutch in, you want to pull it, and it feels like it activates again and it's almost too quick. You have to lengthen it, and we can also review that in a log like this. Now, we can also see here that it goes from this negative uh, 15 degrees, and then it ramps up to the, uh, 5 degrees here. So we can see it reinstates this ignition timing. The length of time here between this negative 5 to 15, this is at 250 milliseconds of ramp in that we programmed under our shift cut. If we jump back in here to wizards, setup wizard, and we jump in here to this ignition retard ramp out time. This is going to be the amount of time we're going to allow it to pull 20 degrees and then put it back in. So we can actually see that right here in the log. So uh, now it should be very, very clear how to set up our full throttle shift using a clutch switch.